guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be uh, telling you guys five uh, custom mob data tags well just mob data tags that you can use with the slash summon or slash entity data command um, so yeah uh, and basically if you don't know how to use them well like you type like for this the first one here we have is silent so look like it's the silent text you type slash summon zombie right tilde 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 for right here curly brackets silent colon one not colon apostrophe okay so here look and then this zombie is now silent you see it's not making any noise i promise i have my minecraft sounds on as you can hear it's not making any noise and uh yeah okay and the next one we have is the no gravity tag and uh this will make your mouse not have gravity obviously so look it's it's right there and it's like you can just kind of push it around and stuff and it's, it'll just float there forever until it dies um <clears throat> so yeah and then the next we have the invulnerable tag by the way i'll tell you guys how to like use these uh yeah after um so the invulnerable tag basically like you like it makes them invulnerable see <laughs> what why didn't it work no i'm just kidding it only makes it invulnerable if you're in survival mode see i'm in survival mode now and i cannot hit this guy at all and yeah okay get out of survival mode okay so but now that i'm creative mode i can <laughs> kill this guy okay um <clears throat> so now good experience now um we have passengers, and that's basically you can summon a mob like it's riding another mob. Yeah, okay, so click that, and there is a double zombie. And yeah, we can get rid of that. <laughs> so yeah, um, so then we have a, then we have custom name, and it basically just summons a zombie with a with a custom name like a Fred. This is actually kind of a double like two things in one cuz uh look you can do summon uh so su no uh, whatever I'll choose. Uh see look it has the name but look if I remove this um uh, uh it would only have the name it would only show the name if your cursor was on it. So you can actually add on the custom name visible tag and it will always be visible no matter where your cursor is uh, <clears throat> so yeah now I'll teach you all how to like write these out and use them so for the silent tag you would type slash summon summon zombie or whatever you want to summon tilde 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 for right here or the coordinates of where you want to summon it uh, closing uh, opening curly bracket silent silent the s must be capital colon one and then closing curly bracket and then enter and then it will summon a zombie that makes no noise at all for no gravity it's just the same exact thing except change the silent to no gravity the uh capitals have to be the same again okay and well here to show it i'll just like want it i'll just like jump in <laughs> yeah, so it has no crap. Okay, invulnerable, same thing. Just, uh, invulnerable. And, so mode, cannot hurt it. And for some reason, it is also <laughs> silent. Oh, no, it's whatever. Okay, <clears throat> passengers is a little bit more complicated. Because, okay, so you have to do uh, this. It's not, uh, not that. So you have to do a uh, curly bracket, um, <coughs> passengers, co colon, uh, square bracket, um, ID, colon, uh, quotation mark, Minecraft, colon, then the mob you want. So I just wanted to be a zombie, so I'll type zombie right there. Then um, another... Uh, quotation mark um and then a square bracket uh curly bracket yeah wait no no no, no. oh sorry i did it wrong so there has to be another uh, curly bracket right there so it'll be like that and then that 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 
So type this thing. I'll have all these commands in the description below, but uh, just so uh, you should kind of learn to do them yourself if you want to. Yeah, okay. So now it will spawn with a zombie on its head. And see, like, if I, like, do one thing wrong, like, if I don't put in these uh, these brackets, like, here, it will just say a bunch of random stuff. So, yeah, but, so you have to do everything perfectly like this. And I will leave these commands in the description, as I just said before. So now, custom name. So, uh, you would do uh, curly brackets. I just like to do them both at the same time because it's easier. Um, <clears throat> okay, so then custom name, then colon, uh, quotation mark, quotation mark, then in between the quotation marks, type what you want it to be. I like Fred because I always do that. So, yeah, then it's Fred. And if you want to be always visible, um, touching the, uh, I always forget what it's called, the uh, quotation mark, do a comma, then custom name visible, colon one, and then it will always be visible. Um, and yeah, if you want to do other data tags, like I could do like custom name visible, comma, silent, that, then it would also be silent. Or like, no... Yeah, oh, at the end of the video, I'm going to, like, combine all of the things into one mob. Uh, so, yeah, I guess the end of the video is kind of now. So, like, uh, so I'm going to combine all of these into one weird, crazy mob. Okay, let's do this. Oh, my gosh. Look what we have created. I kind of want to try to fight it, actually, in survival mode. Uh, let me get some stuff. Actually, it'll be impossible because it's invulnerable. So, yeah, okay. You want to go? You want to go? I'll take you down, even though you're literally impossible to take down. Die. Okay, I guess I can kill the second zombie, yeah. Die. It's not even killing me. Die. Ah! So, yeah, it's literally impossible to kill because I put in the invulnerable tag. Uh, but when I'm in creative mode, it's the kill. <laughs> uh... <coughs> So yeah, oh, if you want to see the command, it was right here. I combined uh, all of the tags that I just taught you. Oh, by the way, if you want to make the the zombie that's in the uh, the uh, ta the like the second zombie, the zombie that's on top of his head, if you want to make that like have custom tags and stuff, then you would do something like this. You do summon uh, the uh, zombie. Uh, tilla, 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 this, and then, okay, so you do passengers, uh, that, 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 I already told you this, okay, so then I, D, that, 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 Minecraft, um, zombie, so then you would just put them, like, in, like, this thing right here, so you do comma, like, custom name, no, custom name, like, Fred or something, you know? So then, look, then the top zombie's name will be Fred. But what if you want the bottom zombie's name to be Fred? Then you would, uh, oops, then you would just do it before the other one, like before the passengers. You'd go custom na name Fred, and then put a comma right there. And then that guy's name is Fred, and that guy's name is Fred. And you could, of course, just remove this if you don't want it, like that. And then only this guy's name is Fred. So, uh, yeah, you can actually. So basically, just if you want, just put the, uh, just put the the tags for the bottom zombie or the bottom mob in front of the passengers tag thing, right, right here, you know. Um, so just put them in front of them. And for the ones that you do, and for the ones that you want, the, the data tags that you want to be for the top zombie, put it um, behind it. Like, right here you would put a comma, that, like, and then the, like, custom name, you know? And then for this, you would put uh, just the thing and then a comma or whatever you would do, you know? Uh, so, yeah, that's actually, uh, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this was helpful to you. And if you want me to show you even more data tags, because it's like there's so many data tags, um, <coughs> then uh, feel free to leave a comment and leave a like on the video. And yeah, that'd be also uh, great if you could subscribe to the channel. That'd be really helpful. 
And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, see you guys later. Goodbye, y'all. Well, it's been so long since I've done a weird, uh, Weird outro. I might as well try it. <gasps> Good bye. Goodbye.